Hi, so this is a very short presentation. Um, it's just going to talk about like what we're actually doing here and how this happened, um, just to give you an overview. <clears throat> so essentially, uh, there's, there's time, money, and love, obviously, but I want to break this down a little bit and just give a bit of a budget overview. <clears throat> so uh, this No Time to Wait conference received uh, financial sponsorship from a number of organizations listed here and in your program. Um, uh, Reto.ca, Taxiel, Open Broadcast Systems, Neverlands Institute for Sound and Vision, FIAF, and CNA. Uh, th these financial contributions totaled about uh, 6,000 euro. And then the main financial expenses broke down like this. Uh, there were travel grants to support uh, some of the attendees uh, joining us, uh, printing out the programs and the name tags, uh, supporting travel and lodging costs for the organizing committee, and then uh, our dinner last night was uh, <laughs> as well. Um, so we actually came in slightly under budget after all this added up. Um, of course, this is not the, the only contributions that go into uh, making No Time to Wait. Um, thanks also to, to Media Area for providing the central administrative support and coordination of this conference. And then, uh, you know, th thanks especially to the generosity of the British Film Institute. They, uh, you know, offered us this conference space, uh, technical support, our meals, our snacks, uh, you know, so we, I'm enormously grateful for all that they've uh, us, Viv. And then obviously the organizers, presenters, and volunteers have to contribute a massive amount of time in order to create these presentations, to prepare for everything, send out hundreds of emails. Um, and then also it's worth acknowledging that, you know, for all of you attending us, there's also additional costs of getting you here, whether that's paid by yourself or, or your employer. Um, and then for remote attendees, uh, it doesn't support the emoji I was using to depict them, but it was mostly them sleeping because they're all awake at like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. In, in the west coast of the U.S. or in diff different parts of the world. <clears throat> and then the support of the community is really important to make an event like this happen. Uh, so some people asked about No Time to Wait For and how will that happen, and we don't really know how that would happen. Um, we'll start thinking about that later. <laughs> like, but obviously, uh, if, if No Time to Wait For would, would happen, we'd have to find an organization willing to, to host it um, and then go about trying to seek out uh, more financial support, uh, you know, design a program, recruit volunteers and stuff. Um, so if, if you're interested in c contributing to that conversation, please let us know or add us on Twitter. Um, and yeah, that was that's my five minute presentation only took like three minutes. So if you have any questions about the No Time to Wait conference, I can answer those. Uh, else I'll pass back to Helen.